Welcome to the recap, powered by Cinelinks.com. I'm your host, Matt, and these are the biggest news stories that had the community buzzing this week. James Bond 007. What, what do you think about when you think of James Bond 007? I think about Sean Connery, Daniel Craig, my two favorite James Bonds, maybe even Pierce Brosnan. He's pretty good too. But James Bond 007, we've talked about it previously on Cinelinks.com that there is a new movie coming out. And previously, we just thought it was James Bond 24. We had no actual title. Well, now we do with James Bond Spectre, or just Spectre. It's going to be amazing because if you are a big fan of the James Bond lore like I am, Spectre is that secret society of terrorists who have been just haunting 007 and MI6 for years. Now previously they couldn't use the Spectre name because of the fact that there were so many licensing rights that they just couldn't touch. Well after a year of getting that taken care of, they finally can now come out with Spectre, and I'm really excited. Daniel Craig is coming back to be 007, the man himself, but Christoph Waltz was announced to be Oberhauser. Now, if you're wondering, wait a second, hold up, Oberhauser, I thought Blofeld was the leader of Spectre. Well, you'd be right, but we're pretty sure that maybe Christoph Waltz is actually being Oberhauser, but they're not saying anything about it yet. Uh, they're, they're probably going to be pulling a little Star Trek into darkness, you know, Wrath of Khan, you know, something like that. But either way, it's sure to be a good movie. Spectre, I'm, I'm really excited because this isn't something that they've shown recently. Well, filming is going to be on December 8th, but November 6th, 2015 is going to be the actual release date for this movie. And I, seriously, 2015 just can't come soon enough with James Bond, Avengers, Star Wars... We're buzzing over here, we're, we're going crazy. Fans of 80s action films rejoice because Kickboxer is having a remake and The Muscles of Brussels is coming back. Jean-Claude Van Damme has joined the cast of the Kickboxer remake. Well, and for those of you who are thinking, oh, you know, Kurt Sloan, he's gonna be back, but he's so old, how could he be Kurt Sloan? It's because he's not. He's actually going to be Master Chow and the person who will be playing Kurt Sloan is going to be Elaine Moosey. Now, I didn't know who Elaine Moosey was, but he's really been more of a stunt double for most of his career, and it's going to come as a fresh new take on to the Kickboxer franchise, and I just, you know, Jean-Claude, big fan of his. You know, the last movie we saw him in was really Expendables 2, and he played fantastically in this movie, so I can only imagine that he's going to be just as insanely awesome in Kickboxer as he was in previous films. And I don't think he gets enough credit as she should, but Kickboxer Remake is coming out, and remember, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Master Chow. Check it out. All right, DC fans, we finally have some news. We have some really good news for you guys as a cast for the Suicide Squad has been announced. And there's a couple of surprises, surprising people on there that I, I had no idea. I knew there were some that, you know, yeah, we, there were talks, but there were some that, oh wow, it just completely went under the radar. Well, we had talked about previously that Jared Leto was going to play as the Joker, and hey, he's there. He's as the Joker. Margot Robbie will be his partner in crime, Harley Quinn. Then you have Kara Develing as Enchantress, Jay Courtney as Boomerang, Tom Hardy as Rick Flagg, and then, woo, Will Smith as Deadshot. That was kind of a head scratcher for me, but hey, it must be a really great script if all of these characters are coming in for this one movie. And it's, it's supposed to be really good. They're set to start filming in Toronto and I don't know, I might go out to Canada just to check this out because it has to be good. It looks so good, especially with this cast alone. And it's set to hit theaters August 5th, 2016. Now let's move over to the side of gaming news where Resident Evil Revelations 2 is set to come out in February. Now February, it's not actually the whole game is gonna be coming out, but it's gonna be released in installments with episodes coming out at $5.99 each on Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, and on Steam. And this version is going to be following the adventure of Barry Burton looking for his daughter on an abandoned island and craziness ensues and we have a trailer so check it out.
There's no way she's... Thanks for that, Resident Evil and Capcom, for reliving my new nightmares. That's going to be exciting for the next couple of months. So, Kingdom Hearts fans, let's move on to something a little bit nicer with Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 3 is set to come out sometime. We don't really have a release date yet, but in a recent interview, it was said by the co-director, Tai Yasue, that anything is possible when it came to the question of, will Marvel and Star Wars universe be thrown into the Kingdom Hearts universe. And he said anything is possible. So that has us buzzing of, well, what could we see? Could we see Sora, you know, fighting Darth Vader with a lightsaber keyblade? Or, or you know, maybe see Thor with Mjolnir or, or Iron Man, him riding on the back of Hulk. Who knows? Because anything is possible. Thank you so much, Mr. Yasue, because that has us uh, so excited and I, I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan and this game cannot come out soon enough. And finally, happy birthday to the PlayStation as PlayStation turned 20 on December 3rd and Sony actually to celebrate came out with their very own limited edition original gray PlayStation 4 and this thing is a thing of beauty. Now, there's only gonna be a select amount that are gonna be created and sent and sold, everything, and it's it's a collector's item's dream because they're actually numbered. One to 12,300. That's right. Only that amount is gonna be available for the PlayStation 4, and man, I just, huh, I just can't believe they didn't tell us earlier when I was having to buy a PlayStation 4 and, and ah, I would have waited, I would have waited, PlayStation, why? Well, I guess Jason's gonna be the only one that gets it because he doesn't have one yet, so yay, I get to, get to borrow his a lot, I'm gonna borrow it. And it's gonna be for all those that wanna buy this, if you already have one or you want a new one, you can get it at $4.99. Now, whether or not you're gonna be able to buy it at the PlayStation event that's gonna be coming out, is is debatable then you'll have to watch the event to actually find out if it's going to be sold there or not so guys keep your eyes peeled for that and just keep me in your thoughts whenever you buy it well that's it for the recap i'm your host matt and be sure to check out all of our other power by cinelink shows on cinelinks.com with scns live and the father gamer podcast and also don't forget to check out the pr trailer breakdowns of star wars and jurassic world and remember, for all your news, reviews, editorials, and more, keep it on Cinelinks.com.